wanna come out here? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Peyton, and today I'm back with another video. As you all have read by the title, this video is long overdue. This is going to be my simple, easy um, lip combos tutorial, and I just wanted to bring you guys all my favorite lip combos. I think I have about like three or four maybe five i'm literally always mixing up different lip glosses so um go ahead and keep watching to see how to get these different lip combos i'm just gonna go ahead and wipe off what i have on my lips right now it's gonna be a lot of lip gloss wasted today so i always make sure that i start off with dry lips um well, not dry lips, but you want to have your lips moisturized. Uh, I did moisturize before I started this video, and I put on Vaseline. You can literally moisturize with whatever. Um, chapstick, Vaseline, Aquaphor. And I'm going to be using the same lip liner for each look. Um, so the lip liner that I love so much to death right now, my MAC lip liner in the color chestnut and before i got this i literally used to just use a nyx lip liner in the color dark brown so you guys can honestly use the same thing it's really not that much of a difference so i like to start off by um just lining my lips and i'm gonna show you guys my favorite one well actually these are all my favorites so it doesn't matter this is how I like to start it off. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and take some LA Girl Pro Conceal and I'm going to put that on my lips. A lot of people ask me like, oh, since you smoke and when you got your lips done and all this other stuff, how did you cover it? This concealer will cover whatever. Like if you are somebody that smokes and you have darker lips and you can never find yourself getting the right lip color, I feel like this concealer method is one of the best ways to cover any imperfections you think you have on your lips. I don't think I have any imperfections now, but when I got my lips done, they were bruised. So I would always use this to cover the bruises because they were probably bruised for like, like a week or so. So this is what it looks like before I put on the lip gloss. So for the first lip, I'm just going to show you guys um, the color with glass slipper on top. And this is a really basic lip. And once you put glass slipper, blend it in, and it looks like this. This is a super cute lip. And if you want it to be more blended out or you think it's too harsh or anything like that, you can just pop on another color. So sometimes I'll take the glass slipper and then I'll also take Sweet Tooth. I did also used to use Fenty Glow, but I lost that color for some reason. So this is what it looks like when I put the Sweet Mouth on it. And I just feel like that blends it out even more. Okay. And the last lip gloss that I like to add on top when I am layering lip glosses is my NYX Butter Gloss in the color Ginger Snap. And I just put that right on top. But this is a very dark lip. So it will take over. And that's what this looks like. It's just a darker shade. So if I'm not just using this, I'll mix these two together. This is Glass Slipper and um, Ginger Snap, or I'll mix Ginger Snap and Sweet Mouth, or I'll just put Ginger Snap, or I'll just put Sweet Mouth, or I'll just put Glass Slipper. So I just wanted to show you guys the different lip combos that I do because I literally just use the same lip gloss and liner to just make a different bunch of combinations. So now I'm going to take this off. So now I'll show you guys my most basic one that I always do when I'm on the go is just the simple um, lip liner and ginger snap. So I line my lips. When I put ginger snap on top, it basically covers the lip liner. So this is this is why I say it's um, one of the more basic ones because I don't um, really do much mixing. And this is what that looks like. So it's really dark. And I feel like when I do this lip, you can't really 
see that I put on lip liner as much as the other looks, but yeah. All right, again with the lip liner. Now, when I don't want my butter gloss to be as harsh and I actually want my lips to look a little bit lighter, then I'll take one of my Fenty glosses and just put it on top. I like to actually do the tinted Fenty gloss as compared to the clear because the clear doesn't really blend it um, as much as the tinted one. So I'm going to be taking Sweet Tooth this time and putting it on top first. And sometimes I do this, but... Um, I don't like it as much just because it looks a little bit more harsh and the lip liner is not as um, blended out, I guess. And now I'm just going to take that butter gloss and put it right on top. And this is my go-to lip um, without the concealer. And I feel like this is just my favorite. And I feel like it gives you that perfect transition to where you can still see that you have on the lip liner. But it just it's just a different shade and I just like it. So that's what that looks like. So that was basically it for this video. Um, just wanted to show you guys my different lip combos. All you guys need is NYX Butter Gloss Ginger Snap. Fenty Lip Gloss in the color Sweet Mouth. Or I use Fenty Glow but I lost that one. So I use this one for the purpose of this video and glass slipper personally i do like fenty glow the most over these two but since i don't have it right now i just use these two but i literally use all three of them interchangeably so i hope this video helped you guys a lot because i do know that i'm i always get asked about my lip combos all the time this is literally all the ones that i ever did i have not created any new ones um so yeah hope this video was helpful if you guys like this video please make sure you give it a big giant thumbs up make sure you guys comment down below if you're going to try these looks which one was your favorite or if you guys do something similar to me and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye